Welcome to Culture Crash, where we examine American culture, what's new and old in entertainment. It's a moment that eventually befalls all book readers. You finally pick up a book you've been meaning to read, maybe for years, and you don't really like it. Do you finish reading it or abandon it halfway? For most of my life, I've believed in the former. I thought it was a cardinal sin to abandon a book before completion. Then I met my match, the girl with the dragon tattoo. By all accounts, I should love that book. I like mysteries and detective stories. My friends and family have read it to rave reviews. And yet for years, I have stopped and started trying to get through this book that just doesn't grab my attention. So I gave it one final try. I got 200 pages into its 804 page length and decided it just wasn't going to happen. For some reason, this renowned book that everyone says I'll love and me just don't click. So I set it back down, maybe forever. And for a little bit, that felt like quitting. And then I remembered all the other books I wanted to read. Since abandoning Girl with a Dragon Tattoo, I've torn through Cujo and The Outsider by Stephen King and started reading Sharp Objects by Gillian Flint. None of them have given me the feeling of having to eat my vegetables before dessert that I had every time I picked up The Girl with a Dragon Tattoo. So my advice is this. If a book, or even a movie or TV show, is starting to feel like self-assigned homework instead of something enjoyable, just remember you don't have to finish it. There are plenty of other stories on the shelves. And maybe down the line you'll go back to that abandoned story and it will grab you in a way it didn't before. Maybe there's another attempt at the girl with the dragon tattoo in me. But not right now. I'm having too much fun with these other books. I'm Evan Rook. Mm-hmm.